Hey everyone, Cindy here with Grom Sewing Machine Company. And today is Friday Foot Frenzy. So today we are going to talk about the cording feet that are available for all your brands. We are going to use in, in this segment today the three hole cording foot um, that's made by Foff. But check with your companies because everybody makes one. Um, Juki has one, looks a little bit different as well as Janome. Janome and Juki's feet are identical to each other and probably yours is going to look just like this. So loading these feet is a little different from loading the Foff foot. When you go to load your foot, if it looks like any one of these, then make sure you load from left to right. That's the best way to keep your threads even in there. Um, what we're going to be working on today is using decorative stitching to couch down your little cording. Now, before we go to the machine, look down at your screen. You see that subscribe button? Please click that button and also click the little notification button. That way you'll be the first to know every time we have a new video. Now, follow me to the machine. Okay, let's get started. So the foot we're going to use today is the three-hole cording foot. We also have a nine hole cording foot. Um, as you can see, the holes are just a little bit smaller. So if you're going to use the nine hole, you want to make sure that the cording that you're using will fit through those little holes. The cool thing about this one is that you can load up to seven. So you don't necessarily need seven. The same thing with the three hole, um, but we've got bigger holes here, as you can see, and I can run yarns through there. So for this segment, we're going to use the three hole. And we're just going to come in here, snap the foot on. And because the holes are pretty big on this one, all I have to do is load from the front. Unlike last time, we did the ribbon foot and it was easier to load it um, prior to snapping it on. doesn't really matter what kind of cording you use. As long as you can fit it through these little holes, you're good. Use my tweezers to pull this one to the back. Once you have them to the back, you want to grab all three and just kind of hold on to them. And once you have it in place, then lower your presser foot. Now, I like to use satin stitches when I'm couching down ribbons and sometimes, I mean, not ribbons, cording. And I like to use... Um, a metallic thread but for this class we're going to use just rayon once you get it started then all you have to worry about is keeping your fabrics kind of your cords kind of straight up front and then let the foot do the work for you Actually done this little technique here and put this on the bottom trim of some shorts and it looks really cute. I'm gonna stop for just a second right here and I'm gonna come over to my machine and I'm gonna make my stitch length just a little bit longer so that you can see what it looks like as you spread it out. Kind of gives you a, a, a different little look. Don't be afraid to play with your machine and change those settings. And the nice thing about the, the holes is that it kind of pulls your, your cording straight to the back. All you want to do is kind of keep it separated here. But in the back end, the, the foot knows what to do and it keeps them evenly spaced for you. That's 
how easy it is to use your cording foot. See how nice this comes out? It's really pretty. It's a nice embellishment to any garment or any home deck project that you're gonna make. Go to your sewing room, create something, tag us on Facebook and Instagram and show us your new creations. Thank you for watching.